All right, it is Saturday, driving around, doing just a couple bids for the gym. And I thought we could talk about, is water fed pole risky? Or is water fed pole a risk to take? Is it a good risk to take? Um, and starting to do this series on window cleaning resource of the water fed pole kind of walkthroughs. Um, I think this is a smart topic to talk about as well. But water fed pole can be a risk. Um, even like yesterday, you used it at a house where the frames have heavy, heavy oxidization from them as far as they get these white runs from the frames. And it just gets, sorry if you hear the uh, GPS in the background, it's taking me to a home. But this house had really bad oxidization from the frames, so it made it pretty hard to make the water fed pole be quick. Oxidization is really hard to deal with if you don't know the right thing to do. Sometimes I get lazy. Sometimes I don't do all the steps that I know that I need to be done because I'm in a rush and I pay for it later. Um, every window that had the oxidization frames that I did not clean the frames or rinse off the frames first had issues with. That was my own fault. If somebody is telling you to stay away from frames and just clean the glass, the likelihood of that frame getting wet and dripping down either dirt or oxidization from that frame is highly, highly probable when you rinse the glass off. To think that no water is gonna somehow knock it on that frame, that's a, that's a pretty hard thing to do, especially with a rinse bar or anything over the top, because you've gotta get that top edge of the glass, which means that top edge of the glass is right by the frame. So if you see any good technique videos, they'll tell you for water fed pole to wash the frames first. You have to wash the frames, you have to rinse the frames, and then either give it some time to dry while you do that to some more sets of windows, um, or you wash your frames, you flip it over, you turn your valve off, and you use your bronze wool pad to you know scrub the windows a little bit more before doing the final scrub and rinse. I've had jobs where, here's where it gets risky. Huge commercial buildings that you've either been doing traditional techniques on for a long time or haven't been cleaned in ages. And there's tons of dirt in the seals. You can wind up wasting a lot of time using a water fed pole. It's almost a lot easier, sometimes on these bigger buildings if you can, to use traditional techniques. The nice thing about traditional techniques is that you immediately see what's gonna happen. Water fed pole, sometimes you're like waiting. You like wait for, you like do the outside of this home, you go inside and you start looking at windows. And just because it looks good from the start doesn't mean that in five to 10 minutes or an hour, you won't get a little run that will be this white or dirt nasty run down the glass. That's just the truth of it. Um, I would love to say that every window comes out perfect, but I always go back through and just check. Not until the last two years have I really felt super confident with water fed pole. That's the only reason why I'm doing this series on Windowclean Resources because I feel confident enough to teach you what to do to make water fed pole not a risk. But we all have human error. That's why I think it's stupid when people say, oh, don't get the top frame wet. Cause it's like, dude, you're gonna get the top frame wet. Your brush is gonna ride on it, your brush is wet. And to try to say that you're not gonna do that, it's not true. Um, I've had jobs though where like, we've done a traditional, it's fine. I take out the water fed pole and I waste an hour doing stuff with water fed pole and come back and it's runs because it's never been cleaned with water fed pole. So if you're gonna clean with water fed pole, expect on the first time that you use it on most jobs, some jobs not, but mostly commercial frames with the rubber seals, expect that you're probably gonna take longer on that clean the first time than you're gonna take doing traditionally. But here is the nice part, is that now on when you go back to that job after you've conditioned, I call it conditioning the frames, that job's gonna go quicker and quicker and quicker and quicker. 
that's a nice thing about it. There's a home that I do every month. It's no risk to take the water fed pull on. It's perfect. And there's no way I would ever get that job done quicker traditionally. No way. No freaking way. Um, is it risky on construction cleans? Hell yeah, it's risky on construction cleans. Um, I went and do it. I tried it this past year and it was a construction clean where the windows that I used it on were old windows on the building and they put a bunch of new windows in. But there's no way that you're gonna remove a sticker unless you put a razor on. You're just not gonna be up close. There's just so many things with construction cleans that you have to be up close for when using the water fed pole. Um, and the other risk is, you know, if if you don't have a lot of jobs that are big, that have, you require a big ladder work and you're just buying it for like small homes and stuff, I would say keep going traditional. Or if you have a bunch of buildings that are like three stories or two stories where it's gonna save you time, buy one. But don't buy one if you just have like a couple houses that you're doing or a couple storefronts. You need to build up and do traditional for a while before you take the risk of getting a water-fed pole. I don't know, it's just my thoughts. And I used to see, first guy to ever train me on water-fed pole, train me just to scrub the glass, not do anything to the frames, and just run the brush on the top of the glass one time, and that was it. And every window that he did came out like crap. The craziest thing about water-fed pole on some of these large commercial buildings is, is that to a certain degree, the customer doesn't always care about exactly the quality of that product. That's the funny thing about it. I mean, I used to do buildings for fish and I know, I know the stuff looked like crap and it was just accepted. I can't do work like that anymore where it's like extremely spot, spots and runs and everything. But we would do these buildings so fast. I just bidded a building, what was this, like a month ago um, down in Boulder and my bid came out twice as high as the other guy. And that's just because there's these companies, there are these large companies that pay commission and they don't care about what their employees make on the job. They low bid it so they can get it and they do a shit job, but some of these buildings don't care. So water fed pole can be a risk on jobs where it's really dirty and you may not know if it'll come out good because you may have to go touch up some windows. I had to do that yesterday. Just some windows on a roof just came out like crap, but the same windows in the back came out great. It's a weird, odd thing, but don't get frustrated by it. Keep, keep going with your water fed. Keep learning the technique. It takes a little bit. A lot of people like to say, oh, I can train someone on water fed pole in a day. I don't think you can. I think that is a total 100% misconception of water fed pole. Uh, I think it takes a long time to really understand how to use water fed pole. But um, is water fed pole a risk? Hell yeah. It's a large amount of money to get one. Um, you can get results bad if you don't know what you're doing. So that's why I'm making that series on Window Code Resource and hopefully that guys is gonna like really, really help you learn a lot more about it. I mean, your brush angle, the way you're rinsing, there's so many things that come into play. Um, that can make it easier or harder for you. So that's my thoughts on this, if water fed pole is a risk. Hope you all have a good day. I'm gonna go see Avengers later, cause I'm a nerd and I love that stuff. So have a good day, bye bye.